Israel has yet to respond to Iran's retaliatory airstrikes over the weekend. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has options, but they all come at a cost. World leaders are calling for calm to try and de-escalate tensions in the region. It is a sobering sight, part of an Iranian MAD missile. This is just its fuel tank. Range 1,000 miles, payload half a tonne of explosives, accurate to within 10 metres. These ballistic missiles were fired by the dozen at Israel on Saturday, for which the Israeli military says there will be consequences. Admiral, when will you strike back? Firing 110 ballistic missiles directly to Israel will not get scot-free. We will respond in our time, in our place, in the way that we will choose. But exactly what that means is not clear. The world awaits Israel's next move. Can it punish Iran for launching this barrage without plunging the region into a much bigger war? Standing next to this gives a very powerful sense of the threat posed by Iran's missile onslaught on Saturday, but also the threat to the region should more of these missiles end up flying around if Israel's retaliation escalates the war into a much bigger conflict. The risk of that happening is very real. In Tehran, Israel's enemies were warning again the smallest Israeli retaliation will be met with another show of force. <laughs> If, for any reason, the Zionist regime makes the slightest malevolent move against our homeland, our individuals or our interests, it will definitely face a resolute and hard response. The fate of the region is for now in the hands of this one man, Benjamin Netanyahu. Meeting new recruits, Israel's Prime Minister was giving little away. Iran stands behind Hamas, behind Hezbollah, behind others. But we are determined to win there and defend ourselves in all arenas. There is jeopardy, but opportunity too for Israel, say observers, to build on the coalition of allies and neighbours that helped defend Israel that night. You know, the real question is, what kind of response does the most harm to Iran and most benefits Israel? What does that mean? I think it probably means don't hit back at Iran, in Iran, right away, uh, when there's a risk that you'll destroy the coalition arrayed against Iran and you won't be able to do much damage. Instead of attacking Iran, Israel could do more of this, assassinating Iranian allies. Today it killed another Hezbollah commander in southern Lebanon. Israel was also drilling its forces south of the border, a fault line for any escalating conflict with Iran and its proxies. If it happens, a widening war would likely engulf the region, far beyond Israel's borders.